is the spec racing series. Everybody's got the same sensors, the same actuators, and it's a competition really of software developed by the students to make the car go fast. We have three lighters, three radars, and six cameras. We integrate them and we add our own software to it, interacting with the steering, the throttle, and the brake. There's a SIM card inside the computer and there's an antenna attached to it, which uh, then communicates to the base station computer. It's processed on the car at a very high rate, and then through telemetry, we get to look at that in our race control. That's one of the crazy things about this whole sort of autonomous field, the massive amount of data that these cars can collect in a you know, relatively short period of time. We practiced extensively and initially found that we really couldn't go any faster than, let's say, 110 miles an hour. So the team did a great job of working through that in a very sort of systematic and methodical way, you know, the way engineers should. We analyzed the data and we felt comfortable to sort of open up our risk tolerance just a little bit. That was really all we needed, you know, to go faster. We had a lot of confidence that we would turn our fastest lap in this competition. We were pleasantly surprised at what that fastest lap was. We were at 139.530 or something like that. It was a thrill, you know, for the entire team. Very pleased, very proud. When you look at where we are now versus where we were, we have people that have software development competency. We've got electrical engineers and vehicle dynamics. You know, that kind of comes from the mechanical engineering area. Girding all of this together is the general sort of field of control systems. And um, you can study control systems in really any number of majors. We can get up and challenge for the very fastest cars in this series, and we're excited to do that. Always looking to see how we can go faster.